Looking clean, clean, um, suited. We are going to continue um, versus this three bet. Hey Phil, good afternoon. I'm off this afternoon, so here for the duration today. Oh, cool. Uh, nice to see you again, man. Yes, we will call at least once versus a small sizing. It's good bet sizing. I don't think we can get away with just folding to a third with uh, king, queen, and jacks as our outs. So we will station um, twice. I don't think this is a hand that we're going to lead. Right, so I suspect he has some kind of a weak ace x hand, like maybe ace 5 suited. Yeah, all ace 9 suited. Um, yeah, I think kind of like a weak ace x hand uh, makes a lot of sense to me. So we got lucky uh, on the river there, but for that price, I don't think we can fold. Um, not the best flop for aces here. Um, so we're going to check. I think we do want to start betting now with aces. And not surprised to see the raise, and I think I like the raise as well, to be fair, from him. Um, pretty strong. Will you really check back a 9x on such a wet board in position? I think um, we're definitely going to continue. And on this river card, Let's put him on some sort of pocket pair that's trying to get max value versus my um, draws that decided to delay C bet. So I think on this river card, um, we're going to bet small because I think if he has a strong hand, he probably would raise here if he had if he did have a nine x or if he did have pocket threes. Um, which I think pocket threes is, should be probably the most likely holding he has to be honest. Um, so. Okay, so I guess he didn't have um, pocket threes. I suspect he should have um, a pocket pair, um, is my guess. Oh my god. Am I seeing this right? He just called with pocket eights. How does he know? How did. What? How the hell does he just call? With pocket eights in that hand, and um, potential cold four bet spot of king queen, king queen suited would be a high frequency cold four bet. Um, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for a low frequency cold four bet here, and uh, it's bad timing from us with king queen. Um, 8 9 suited. Uh, we're going to continue. Um, I think I like raise. And ace queen. Um, we're going to bet twice. And on the turn with 9 8, we call with a flush. Nice. Jack 10 suited. We're going to 3 bet. Um, Jack 10 of diamonds uh, after 3 betting pre. Uh, we're going to check on this flop. Alright, so we're going to delay C bet. Alright, this is not an ideal um, river card here. This card does hit, hit him at some frequency, as it does for us, so don't um, expect him to always be bluffing this spot. Or be bluffing very often here because we can have um, a king x hand uh, in this spot. The only hand we beat here is a hand like ace queen of hearts. I'm running low on time bank. All right, we're going to flick in the call. Nice. Okay, so surprised to see ace queen of clubs, but um, yeah. Nice um, hero there. Um, ace three, we open, got three bet, we called. 
and we are going to call this half part with top pair. Should be a dodgy tan card for him, so not surprised to see a check. We're going to check back. This should be a very horrible run out for him here. Yes, he can have kings, queens maybe that we beat, but he does also have stronger ace hex hands. Um, so I think we're going to bet just in case we beat to kind of rep, um, yeah, a hand that beats him. Nice. Uh, eight nine will continue at least once. I think we're going to lead the turn here with eight nine. Uh, I don't think we need to have a bet too big here, and uh, we're just going to continue uh, bluffing here with nine high. Right. Let's see if we can get this bluff through. Very nice. I think this time. Uh, I think we're just going to flat kings. Uh, I don't think I want to fall bet here. So let's just call. Nice to not see an ace, as we always do with um, kings. This c bet, um, I think we're just going to play call, call, and hopefully um, call a uh, third time. Uh, so hope we can get a clean turn card, uh, which we do. So his queens and jacks, and obviously he does have aces as well, but when he checks turn, I, I no longer uh, think he has aces now. And there's no kind of backdoor flush draw as well. I think it's, I don't think it makes too much sense to bet big here. So I think we like a less than half pot size bet. So let's bet like 13 and rep some kind of one pair hand. Weak, weakish one pair type hand. Uh, so you snap calls. So we're going to just try and rep a hand like a 10x hand, like ace 10, that he thinks he can just beat with his hand like jacks or queens, that I don't think we'd ever be raising. So we're trying to target some jacks and queens here and represent a hand that he beats. So I think he would call an amount like 24. And if he shoves, then rolls he beat. So he snap calls. Yeah, so he had queens, which was the hand that, the kind of range that we did put him on. I think it was difficult for us to stack him. Um, I think we don't really have many bluffs that would size up the turn there to kind of shove on the river. Of course, he has queens in that spot. So if we did um, four bet pre, uh, we would have given ourselves uh, a chance to stack him. But he does also have three bet bluffs, right? So you need to balance the negatives where he has three bet bluffs and he has aces where um, we can kind of um, get value from his bluffs and give us a chance to not get stacked when he has aces. And just balancing from when he does have uh, a hand like queens or jacks that we do lose value from not um, full betting free. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot of different decision points in that hand, I think. So... Uh, you can make arguments for a lot of different ways to play that hand. Right, so we flopped another set here. Uh, so we are going to start with a small c bet. And um, Pilip picked up kings again on the left. Right, this uh, exa is exactly what we wanted to see um, by betting small here. We managed to induce um, a raise. Running out time bank. Uh, we are going to three bet the flop here with kings. Uh, sorry, with um, pocket threes. And we're going to have to run it. So if he has a flush draw, not pocket falls. He's got kings. Um, okay, nice hand. So he just flats kings from the small blind, uh, which I don't think you should ever do. Yeah, I think aces and kings should be a, a pure um, three bet in that spot. <laughs> Bloody hell, we're flopping a lot of sets today. Uh, he bets a quarter. So we are definitely going to be coming in for a check raise. Can you see a three bet with pocket fives? No. Uh, that is not the turn card we want to see. Uh, so we're going to check. 
Uh, we're going to trap here with aces and flop the nuts. Uh, we're going to limp stab here with aces on the right and sevens on the left versus this sizing. I don't think this is a flush. Um, but equally, I don't want to overplay our hand. So, oh my god. <sighs> right, we're going to have to pray we can win this at showdown if we can get to showdown. Wow, so he did have a flush. With the hand that I had, I mean, yeah, he did lose uh, a lot of value there because you know, all my sets are going to be paying quite handsomely on the turn there. Unless he was being that tricky to think that I would think that he would not be betting flushes for such a small sizing. Therefore, um, he was hoping that he was hoping to induce a raise uh, from me. Um, I don't think he would be thinking that deeply about that hand. Uh, but anyways, good um, good result um, for us. And we flopped the nuts here on the left. Um, so for that reason, um, because I expect him to see bet ace um, ace x hands on the flop, um, he does have bluffs here on the turn. Uh, so we're just going to bet the queen jack on the left. He's going to hate this um, river card here. But we have showdown value. Uh, with our pocket sevens. Wow, so we get raised and got called down the right, and we don't have time bank. So we're gonna have to just make a hasty three bound flop on the turn, sorry. Alright, so we're gonna call with Queen Jack. I suppose he's. Wow, sick uh, turn card. <sighs> nice hand. Right, so we see a three bet. Which is lovely. And um, we are going to go for a um, four bet here. So we're all um, above 100 big, bigs deep here. And so here comes the cold four bet of kings. Uh, aces, we're going to C bet. He need jams. So we snap call. All right, we're going to run it. All right, it's one for me. Boom, come on. All right, aces on the left. We're going to call this check raise. Um, this card, I think we have, just trying to figure out who has more 10x in this spot. I think he does have some bluffs here, for sure. And because we have Tenex hand in this uh, spot that plays the same way, it's going to be very hard for him to bluff River here. Um, yeah, like I'm never folding a Tenex, so I don't think he's ever bluffing here. If he if he if he bets the River, yeah, so he checks. So I don't see any reason for us to bet River here. So we're just going to go to showdown and hope to see his eight nine. So this is the hand. Um, I did put him on like a draw, like an 8 9. Like, he's never going to be taking, like, I know it's a strong word, but I don't think he's ever really going to be taking this hand as the bluff on the river, given I have um, 10x hand. Uh, you know, my range is uncapped, so it's not a good idea to bluff into uncapped ranges. Uh, so he's going to be, I expect him to play very honestly um, in that spot. And then Ace King on the right, uh, we're going to come in for a 4 bet. Goes all in again, so we're gonna snap call. Pray to see ace. Oh, oh my god, king! Damn it! Wow, how can you just flat there with aces? That's insane. But I mean, it obviously worked uh, that time. Do players really like to play that way and just flat with aces uh, in that spot? I was. Pretty much expecting to see a lot of ace queens and jacks in that spot, to be fair. I never in a million years would have expected to see um, aces there. I'm not folding um, queens here to a three bet. So we're going to just call. Okay, so let's, let's calm down here. We've got top set, but ace king does make the nuts here, which is very within his range. 
Wow. Um, so I think there's a very few hands that beat us. So we've got straight flushes, royal, and quads. Okay, we're gonna lead the turn. Right, so I think he has aces and kings that play this way. That kind of check flop, cool turn. I think this sizing is good to kind of get called by aces or kings. He goes all in. And we've got two seconds time bank. I don't... I guess we call... Wow, that was a sick bluff there by um, Dark Kitty. Well, that was a real sick bluff um, by Dark Kitty there with the nut flush blocker. So yeah, respect, man, um, for you to be able to find um, that bluff. Obviously, you don't expect many players to be able to find um, bluffs in that spot. Uh, but we are going to see that pocket sevens on the left. So you can raise here with um, like a top pair, or even the hand like nines or tens that decide to kind of just flat. So because we block, um, we're heavily blocking the nuts here, we can have six, seven in the spot quite easily. And his continuing range when we decide to take this line would be sets. So we are gonna kind of bluff here with our pocket sevens to bluff him off his eight X and over pairs. If he continues, uh, you know, we're narrowing his range to sets now. Nice, and we've got the fold. Um, so yeah, I think I think there's a decent chance we managed to get him to fold the best hand there. And if he calls, then we pretty much know exactly what he has. We're going to 3-bet ace-queen from the big blind. Nice flop. Uh, we're going to c-bet. Uh, the small C bet we did um, means these raises include some inferior Queen X hands and not always hands that beat us. Obviously, he does have sets and two pairs, but he does have some hands that we beat here. Um, I don't like raise here, so we're going to call. If he's got set, then so be it. But you can also have like eight, six. Yeah, wise check. So he, he's basically saying um, he recognizes this card's is best for our range, not for him. So I think we have a pretty straightforward jam here. <laughs> oh my god. He's got aces. Wow. That's um, pretty sick. All right, cool. And uh, that's the end, guys. Um, just want to say, yeah, really pleased to see such a, <laughs> I mean, for me at least, such a, a decent turnout. Um, I really hope you guys uh, enjoy um, watching the stream. I had a very um, decent session today, which is very nice, very welcome, um, given uh, we did have a couple of um, bad sessions uh, recently, which you guys can um, see on my YouTube. Um, so, yeah, this definitely helps um, patch up some of the, the battering, I should say, uh, that we've had um, recently. So yeah, um, thanks for joining all. Going to end it now and um, I'll see you next time.